Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to play your Steam games on your TV using the Remote Play Steam Link feature. So if you got a Google TV, uh, Fire Stick, or any kind of like Android-based uh, device connected to your TV, or a smart TV, uh, if you have access to the Google Play Store, it's going to be very easy. You want to go to it and just type in Steam Link and try to get this. So if you don't have access to the Google Play Store, like if you're on a Fire TV, you can still install it. Uh, you're just going to have to sideload it using like Downloader or something like that. And then go to a link under Downloader and then get it. And uh, on the Google TV, it's just so easy. You just type it in and I'll pop Results up just for like this link. and download this application and open it up. So I'm going to open this up now. And you want your TV to be on too. So let's go to allow and make sure you're connected to the same internet as uh, your TV and your computer. So let's go on over to Steam now. So you got me, I got my computer turned on. I'm going to go to settings and then go on down to remote play. Make sure it's enabled right here. And I'm connected to the same internet as my TV via Wi-Fi. And you can see I got my phone already paired on here. That's pretty much all you have to do is have your computer turned on. And then we can go back on over to my device, hit get started, connect a controller too. And you can see my computer's on here. Now a code's going to pop up. Just type this in on your computer screen and press enter. So it might be in a different room. So just remember that code, run upstairs real quick and get it. And then it's going to test your connection. So I've used this to actually play a few games. Um, you know, if you got really good internet, the latency is not that bad. And I was able to play. Um, I was playing Starfield from my, my, la uh, my laptop on over to my computer. I mean, I mean, on over to my TV and it worked. And now we can go to start playing after that quick little test. My internet is slow. The connection quality is kind of bad. Now on my computer, big picture mode is opening up. So your computer is going to be on. So you can always just go to your monitor and turn off your monitor uh, when this happens. So you don't really see it. And you can see my connections going in and out because I'm going through like a, a brick wall. And now I have access to Steam on my computer. And you can test out the latency, and I don't think the latency is all that bad if you got like a 5 gigahertz connection or a 6 gigahertz connection. Now, the only thing is you got to connect your controller so you can actually play. So you get your Xbox controller, your PS5 controller, and connect it uh, to your TV. And then you can start playing. So it'll be very easy from there. And then you got the just normal Steam controls with your controller from your TV. Or if you've got your controller connected to your computer still, you can just, you know, use it that's connected to your computer. So, yeah, check this out. It's very useful. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.